Welcome to your May 2018 rune scope with me. My name is Amanda. This month, in conjunction with the runes, I will be using the Tarot Art Nouveau Premium Edition by Lunea Weatherstone and Antonella Castelli. Then, as always, be sure to join me for part two of your May rune scope over on my Vimeo channel. You'll find the link below in the box. I will be pulling one card this month from the Fairies Oracle by the amazing artist Brian Froud. Um, and we will see which fairy wants to give you additional wisdom and guidance for the month of May. If you, this is your first visit here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I do encourage you to watch, especially the videos for previous months, as we're just now, uh, we're not even in the month of May yet. So um, if you find that I am connecting with your energy in those videos, please do click the subscribe button. That will ensure that whenever I post my content, they go, it goes to your subscription feed and you won't miss any of your readings. But let's jump in for Aquarius. And we will take a look and see what is going on with Aquarians in the month of May. As always, Aquarius, these are general readings. Just keep that in mind. You can get additional messages and info if you watch the video for your rising sign as well. Um, but if you would like a reading that is very specific and honed in on your exact circumstances, the only way I can connect with just your energy is in a private session. I do those on Skype. They are $70. Just drop me a line at runescopes 4 you at gmail.com. You'll find that here in the video and also in the description box. All of the info is down there. Wow, powerful month here, Aquarius. What is going on? You got three major arcana right here in a row with the tarot. Let me see what the runes are talking about. The challenge or focus, that's where we always start here. We do have uh, the hermit card here as the challenge or focus. So the challenge may be with the runes here, you're feeling lost, kind of lost in the dark here. Um, or lost or alone in the in some situation. And for many of you, it may have to do with career or money or at work with Fehu here. Um, so your challenge in May is to find like what path to follow, who to follow, who to believe. Uh, and there seems to be some sort of financial aspect to this um, that, that's been thrown into confusion due to information coming out that you did not know that kind of you have to backtrack, you have to go back. And so this could be something as minor as um, like you sent a bill in and it didn't get there or it got delayed or got lost in the mail. And now you're like having to like pay it again and figure out where, you know, now you've got maybe a check that's out there somewhere and you're trying to find it. I mean, it could be something like that. This could also be trying to figure out if you're going to stay with the status quo, stay where you are work wise, or if you're going to go off on in your own direction, or if you're going to work a little bit longer, or if you're going to retire, uh, there's something about like leaving this situation to go elsewhere. For many of you, there will be an offer for another job, but it may increase the commute, but it just will depend on, you know, if the money is going to compensate for that or other perks that you may be getting along with the, with that, whether or not you should break out on your own here. Um, it may require relocation. For some of you, it could just be that you would be working remotely on your own because the hermit card is all about, you know, if you are embodying the hermit, you're going off by yourself. You're not really going to be working with other people. You would be working on your own. Um, so maybe you have to go travel to a meeting or to have like an interview to see if you get the job, but then you would be working on your own, working remotely. So your challenge is maybe to book the travel. Maybe there's delay with the travel. And you're like, oh my God, they're not going to give me the job because I'm late or my flight was delayed or, you know, knowing that ahead of time, 
This is how these readings can really, really help. Knowing that ahead of time, if you're gonna have to travel and you already know about that, go ahead and book an earlier flight. Go, go in the day before and spend the night or, or you know, book an earlier flight because that way if there are any delays, you'll leave yourself enough time and won't be rushing around. If you're driving, do the same because this, you know, you could avoid an accident here. Um, for others of you, this could just be saying like something's gonna come up with the car that was hidden that was causing a problem and then it's gonna cause the car to malfunction and it's gonna cost quite a bit to get it fixed or a car could be just cashing it in all together for some of you because Rido does rule travel and relocation but it also rules actual vehicles so um and you've got the chariot here as well some of you may be getting a new car in may um and it looks like out of necessity here um so i i don't feel like you know that's gonna be the biggest challenge here, even though the Hermit is a major arcana, it's gonna be a bigger challenge if you're trying to decide if you're gonna go out on your own uh, and start a new career, or if you're gonna go out altogether and retire. So, for some of you, maybe you're like, well, I wanna pay off the car first. Um, force, and this may just be for one person out there, I feel like you're Wherever you work, they may be changing locations, like they're moving to another building and it's further away. It's gonna like increase your commute. Like maybe by a great deal. And this could just be kind of sprung on you out of, you know, there could be no warning for this. And and for some of you, maybe they're they're like, we're gonna do this in Virgo time, which would be uh, end of August, early September, which would give you some time maybe to look for another job. And that may be what you're doing. You're like, I'm not gonna drive all that way, or I'm not gonna relocate. To, you know, maybe they're closing the office in your city and, and you know, you can you can either go to another location or, or um, but it would, maybe it's in, an, in another state or even in another country and you're like, I'm not moving. I'm gonna have to find another job. So, and this could be hidden from you. Aquarius and just kind of because this is all about like stuff coming out of the closet right um, and causing everybody to have to scramble and, and figure out what they're gonna do and like we would have to go work somewhere we don't want to go work and when I took this job it was at this location and and now you're gonna change location um, now there may also be like there a position or a or a promotion that would like pay you more money but it would require travel and some of you may like oh i don't know how i feel about that maybe you have family you have kids and you're like i don't know if i could do that i don't know and you know balance that with home life so you may be seeking advice about that from someone who is uh, very wise or experienced or even a, a superior within the company um yeah, you may just, or someone that you just trust their advice very much because they are, um, they're older, they're wiser and experienced in that sort of thing. So, um, now in the present energy, so this would be for some of you, whenever you're watching this video, for others of you, it will be, uh, end of April going into May. We do have the fool. So that is all about a new journey, a new beginning, something totally new is coming in and then you have the blank room next to it which just kind of doubles down on that effect like once you walk through this door your life changes completely um but it's exciting right um there's an innocence here with the fool um he's not yet been weighed down by all of life's battles and scars and he's not yet cynical and bitter um, he's at the, he's just at the start of his journey. So, um, I feel like whatever this offer is or the newness of this, even if at first you're like, you know, it's shocking or upsetting news, this is actually going to turn into be exciting because I mean, the thing about changes with job, even if it is kind of like, well, you know, you can move to this other company or we're gonna lay you off or, you know, even if you get fired or something, what that does is it makes you take stock. And 
it will make you kind of pause and say, well, I hated that job anyway. What do I really want to do? Now that I have the opportunity thrust upon me, like if I could do anything I wanted, what would that be? And it can really, you know, make you pursue something and kind of go full in or all in on something that maybe before just seemed like a pipe dream because uh, you were already in a situation where you were making money on a reliable basis. So it's like, I'm not gonna leave the, you know, something this safe for the, uh, the untried or the uh, unreliable, but now you're free. You're, you're, you're free to start a new journey in some way. And for many of you, this does have something to do with money, with uh, a new investment, like a new car or a uh, relocation. or to have a new new position or to take a new position or retirement, right? That's a journey too. Um, and a lot of freedom comes along with that. So, and it can feel really good to get out of the rat race for a lot of people. Some people don't ever want to retire, but other people are like, yeah, I can't wait to do that and have more time to do stuff that I want to do or just like do nothing if that's what I want to do. Now the help that's going to be available to you in the month of May, you've got the three of cups. So this is celebration. The, you know, this is going to be a cause for celebration. So just remember that Aquarius, even if something doesn't start off as feeling too good, you know, there's going to be a reason to celebrate because you've got good news coming. You're going to be achieving a goal. Uh, you're reaching, uh, or achieving something that you've been chasing for a while. Um, and I was is here indicating, you know, whatever your goal is in May, you're going to achieve it. Um, you know, even if there are delays, even if there are upsets or hiccups or, um, you know, things that kind of come out of nowhere that are shocking or disruptive, it's not going to knock you off your course. And in fact, these things are happening to get you there. So, um, for some of you, uh, this could also be a reunion with someone or a, or going back to something with the three of cups. So there could be, maybe you are, um, Maybe you are taking a job with someone that you used to work with, or maybe someone else is getting laid off and they find a job at this other place and they help you get on there. There's something about a reunion that in May, they're like, hey, this position's gonna be open. It does seem like for many of you, there may be a bit of a waiting period or there may be kind of like, you know, you know, when you're out of there, call me because I can get you on where I'm at or, um, you know, or this is just people like, hey, let's celebrate your promotion or let's celebrate, you know, this this shift or change that you're making, your retirement. Could be a retirement party for some of you. Or let's celebrate this uh, achievement. Um, and the Three of Cups can be you and two other people coming together. It's 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 three sisters usually on, on uh, in this deck, it's two sisters coming together. So yeah, this could just be like um, a reunion with somebody that you haven't seen in a while and have missed. And that's helping you kind of maneuver or feel, feel more positive about the way things are going. These circumstances don't have to be related at all for all of you. I feel like the, uh, the big stuff is happening on the money front, career front for many of you. What must be accepted about the month um, unfortunately we do have the five of swords. So, um, that again is going, calling back to this kind of chaotic, confusing energy. Um, I feel like though with the runes here, for many of you, this is from the past. So for some of you, it could be like this person coming back and saying, Hey, that was, a, you know, that was a bad fight. Um, but let's move on. Let's put that behind us there's a battle or a war of words or some sort of disagreement, argument, um, conflict that is being put in the past and you're coming together with someone for renewal and, um, 
or or at least you are heading towards that in May. Um, but yeah, I'm hearing that. Let's put this behind us and move forward. So this could be a family member or a friend, again, that you haven't seen or talked to in a while. Maybe there was an estrangement. Um, and now there's a chance to to move forward and, and put the past behind you. But I mean, Five of Swords is a pretty bad conflict. So I mean, this would have been either a really big argument where hurtful things were said, um, And uh, so you may be kind of like needing to rehash some of that. Some of the old issues from the argument may come up. And I, you know, it could be that you have to bring those up. Maybe, you know, you're still hurting over those because this is not an easy energy to deal with. Even if it's been, you know, years since this happened, there's still this residual, you know, battle scars that you need to talk to talk to someone about um you need to confront the person with like you know when you said this that hurt this hurt me and it's been hurting me for all of this time so um because yeah there may be and i think this came up in your reading last month where someone has hurt you really badly but they don't want to kind of dredge all that up and and like be held responsible for things they've done or said they just want you to sweep it under the carpet and you may be tempted to do that aquarius and some of you will Unfortunately, the thing is, though, the, that means they'll just come back up later. So you may as well get it over with in May. Deal with it, get it out of the way, because that means you can get to the good stuff quicker. It's not going to push this person away again. It's not going to um, make them go away again. You're not going to scare them off again, but it will mean that, you know, your actual reunion or the relationship will be on much more solid ground if that stuff is gotten out now instead of brought up in anger later. So, um, yeah, do the hard stuff first, get it out of the way and then move on to, um, the good stuff for the for some of you though this is work this is like you know it could be like everybody gets this news that you know they're going to be laying people off or closing this office and everybody's now tr you know trying to jockey for position and kind of walking all over each other it's like every man and woman for themselves right with this um i don't care who i have to step on but i'm keeping my job or i'm gonna get promoted or uh you know um and I feel like for most of you, you're just going to be like, screw this. I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get out of here because you, you're going to be going to a different group, joining a different company. And for many of you, it may be smaller or maybe a family run business, or you're hearing about it through acquaintances. Again, hearing about it through your network or friends of yours. Uh, now the outcome for May is wonderful. You've got uh, the chariot card, another major arcana, again, vehicle. So that's why, you know, if you're having issues with the car, some of you may just be like, screw it. I'm getting my dream car. I'm going to get that car I always wanted. I'm going to find one. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> um, this is also victory, though, accolades. It is a, uh, you know, you're overcoming obstacles. Uh, but yeah, it can be a bit of a rough ride with the chariot. It's going fast and the horses want to go in different directions. So you got to kind of rein them in. You got to rein in the energy and get everything going in the direction you want to go. So yeah, I feel like the month of May in the beginning starts off with, oh, a little chaotic or maybe it's carryover from April. Uh, there is a lot of chaotic energy or was a lot of chaotic energy in April and, um, so you may still be dealing with the fallout of that and trying to get things centered and back on track. But you're going to figure it out. You're going to figure it out in a major way. Whatever has happened, no matter how um, unexpected or, again, chaotic it feels to you, it's actually shifting you in a major way 
in a new, more positive direction. And um, victory is going to be yours. You got tear here too, which is also victory. So victory times two here at the uh, at the outcome of May. You're going for something here, Aquarius, in May, and you're getting it uh, by the end of the month. Something that you have worked really hard for, something that you, and it's gone off the rails a little bit. It's been tumultuous, it's been difficult, but you've, you, you, you have overcome. You have overcome, no, regardless of what anybody else does, regardless of how anybody else has handled this, you will realize at the end, by the end of May that you have overcome the obstacles. Maybe nobody else did. Maybe a few people did and other people, you know, whether it's a work situation, again, a family situation, um, whatever the obstacle, you're just gonna be really focused on it in May. And actually excited by the way things develop. So remember that if you're feeling a little bit like Argh, at the beginning of May, like, oh my God, why is everything, why is this happening? It's happening to put you on the right course, a much happier course. Um, and maybe in a new car. <laughs> For some of you, this could also just be travel with the fool and the chariot. You could be traveling somewhere, especially by car. Um, you could be taking a trip, taking a getaway. Maybe you're going somewhere you've always wanted to go. And now that you, you know, you are retired or we soon will be retiring or, um, have been laid off or, you know, or looking for uh, other jobs, you're going to get the chance to travel somewhere you've always wanted to travel. And for some of you, you may be relocating there. So yeah, relocation, re relocation and travel are both on the agenda and vehicles. So a busy month, but a very, uh, you're gonna make a lot of progress in several different areas for many of you. But like I said, check out the video for your rising sign that can probably give you specifically an idea of which area that we talked about here is gonna be more lit up for you. But also join me over on Vimeo now. I'm going to shuffle the fairies oracle. We'll see what the uh, which fairy wants to give you additional wisdom on how to handle this energy, because it is powerful energy with those three major arcana right in a row. Um, meet me over there and we'll see what we get. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you back here next month.